Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about a circular shift and swap operation. These are very simple concepts to understand. In our previous classes, we discussed a few components regarding S box, regarding modern block ciphers, which is S box and P box and XOR operation. Similarly, circular shift and swap operations are also used as components in our modern block cipher. So let's try to understand how they are, they are going to be used in our modern block cipher. So circular left shift means, see, see here, take 8 bits. This is the input. If you want to left shift 1 bit, this last bit is move it to the first one, first position. Remaining bits as it is. That is what left shift means. See here. So for one bit left shift, this one goes to the front. So our output is if the one goes to the front, this is the one remaining bits as it is. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. These bits are as it is. This last bit comes to the front. This is what left shift means. Circular left shift means. If you want to shift two bits means first last bit is moved to the first position then again the before one will move to the first position this is how left shift moves so for this if you move two bits this is what you are going to get last two ones goes to the front and remaining bits as it is similarly exactly opposite we are going to go, go with circular right shift See, if this is the input, right shift means this first bit moved to the last position. Here we are moving only one bit. If you move two bits, first two bits will move to the first. The first bit is moved to the last position. Second bit is moved to the last position. This is how it will go. So, the, if the first bit moved to the last position, this is what you are going to get. If zero moved to the last position, double one, zero, one, zero, double one. Double one zero one zero double one. This first zero move to the last zero. So these components, left shift and right shift, works as invertibility. This is the point you need to understand. S box is invertible. P boxes are invertible. XOR operation is invertible. Similarly, the circular left shift and right shift is also used as invertible. During the encryption, if you use left shift, during the decryption, you go with the right shift. So that's why that's why these operations are used in our modern block ciphers. The whole thing we need to do is we have to confuse how many invertible operations are there. We are going to use all those. That uh, those invertible operations we are going to learn one by one. All these op all these components we are going to use in our next classes. Now coming to the swap operations. Swap is a special case of circular shift. See here, if you take 8 bits, B0 up to B7, if you left shift half of the bits, that is what exactly swap operation means. B7 will go first, B6 will go next, B5 will go next, B4 will go next. So these are things, B3, B2, B1, B0. So similarly swap means if you are having 8 bits, half of them, one half move to this side, another half move to the other side. This is simply known as a left shift half of the bits. So swap operation works only if you are having even number of bits. Then only swap operation works. So during the encryption, if you do swap, during the decryption, again you do swap. Again you are going to get the previous ones. So it, it works as invertibility. So these are the basic things you need to understand, basic components you need to understand about modern block cipher. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.